good y'all and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. As y'all can tell, I'm definitely in the hotel, but we still got a banger video for y'all. So that being said, let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into it. All right, you guys, so as you guys know, or you don't know, basically Vader is full Botan E85 tuned, right? Um, really and truly, you know what I'm saying, is really Botans because there's still some things that I could add to the car to make it Botan. I still have some stock parts on there, um, but for you know the purpose of the video and stuff like that full boton e85 tune i do have a clip um of me doing a quick engine rundown so i'm gonna go ahead and roll that real quick and then we'll get into it figure i might as well give you guys a quick little rundown on the build while we're here as well waiting for it to warm up so quick little performance rundown ported lt2 intake manifold ported lt1 stock throttle body throttle fab cold air intake with the dry filter not the oiled we got a jlt oil cat can msd spark plug wires speed engineering instant seven eighths long tube catless headers and then a flex fuel sensor as well this car is tuned on e85 it's actually running e85 right now so as you guys just saw car is lt2 E85, stock throttle body, a little bit of port work, long tube headers, tuned. That's it. No trans tune, just a ECU tune. That's it. Here, what's good, y'all? You know what I'm saying? So I'm interrupting this video real quick because I've been going through the channel's analytics and just looking at the numbers and stuff like that. And I cannot lie. There is a lot of you who are watching the videos, tuning in every time it uploads and you're not subscribed to the channel. Bro, I need y'all to do me a favor and just hit the subscribe button real quick for the kid. It is free. There's no payment or anything that you have to do. There's no subscription that you have to sign up for or none of that. Like you just hit the subscribe button and then you hit the little bell notification. It's gonna drop a little drop down for you. And you got like three options. Um, just make sure you select all notifications. That way, every time I drop a video, I drop a short, I drop an update to the channel, you guys are getting notified when i do that so you don't miss out on any of the content any of the updates with vader anything like that so please 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 if you haven't already do your boy a favor and hit that subscribe button as you guys can see on the screen bro it's a lot of y'all that are watching the videos and are not subscribed so please do your boy a favor and subscribe now let's get back to the video that's it you know what i'm saying so that being said man you guys know your boy has the carbon fiber zl1 style hood from anderson composites and i also still have my stock 1le satin black wrapped hood so that being said y'all we want more power right you know what i'm saying we want to get more power we want to get the car as fast as possible in a without swapping in a stroked out motor um without swapping in the cam just to see like what the car is really capable of before throwing the cam in there and porting the heads we want to see how fast we can get this car my boy rk man huge shout out to my boy rk because that man is not playing y'all i'm away from my car right now i actually haven't talked to my boy rk in about a week and out of nowhere out the blue at like i want to say 11 30 p.m something like that bro sends me a whole new tune <laughs> out of the, like literally out the blue bro sends me a whole new revision from the revision that we got 
um, off of the pass, the first pass that we made at HMP. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go tune in. Um, it was a couple vlogs back, um, so you know, just go check in with it. I'll probably put a card up somewhere on the screen. That way you can watch that video and see what the card did. Unfortunately, we were only able to make one pass. <sighs> did all that work to get to the track just to make one pass before the track ended up getting rained out with that being said we did make one pass we sent over the log to rk and then rk sent us the revision flashed the revision onto the car bro and literally pulled into the staging lanes and it started raining what are you gonna do you know what i'm saying so my guy i had I haven't even been able to see what the car does off of the revision that he sent me, and he already sent me another revision. <laughs> this guy's crazy, man. So if you haven't already, bro, follow my boy RK Speed on Instagram. It pops up right here. If you need any motor work, tuning, anything that has to do with Chevy, bro, tap in with the guys, man. The home team's gonna get you right every time. Um, but anyway. Back to what we were talking about. We want more power. We want the car to go as fast as possible. And we want, like, we don't want to leave any power on the table at all. And that being said, I'm currently low-key leaving a good amount of power and a good amount of time in the quarter and in the eighth on the table by running the LT2 intake manifold and not throwing a Holly setup on the car. <laughs> So, that being said, like I said earlier, I still have my OEM stock 6 Gen 1 LE hood. It's in storage. And we also have the carbon fiber ZL1 style hood. It's currently on the car. Now, with that being said, neither one of these hoods is going to clear a Holly intake manifold. Yet alone clear a Holly intake manifold with a sheer fab lid. So that being said, I have to either A, sell the carbon hood and go back to the stock hood and get the stock hood cut out, or B, buy a copo carbon fiber hood and get the copo carbon fiber hood cut out for the Holly, or C, keep the Z01 style carbon hood and just cut that one. Either way it goes, y'all, I personally, I don't have what it takes to sit here and cut the carbon fiber hood. So I would have to take it to somebody who is trustworthy, who has done this type of thing before and have them cut the hood for me because I'm not going to lie. I'm not cutting it. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to leave it up to you guys. What do you guys want to see? Do y'all think I should get the ZL1 hood cut? Or should I get the stock hood cut? Or should we go copo hood and then cut that one? Either way it goes. I personally feel like, bro, like my hood is in perfect condition and that's why I don't wanna cut it. Because y'all know I don't drive my car like that. And when I do drive the car, I try to park the car in a shaded area so the sun's not beating on the carbon. I Y'all probably don't know this, but I wax my carbon like every week, at least once a week, I'm waxing the carbon just to ensure that it still has that shine that we all know and love. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know. This is a very, 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 very hard decision for me because, bro, like either way it goes, say I do go by the Copo hood, bro, that's basically another two grand just for me to cut a brand new hood. And yes, my hood is like new, but still, you know, it's kind of been on my car for, I think, going on a year now. Close to a year now it's been on the car. So, I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Y'all already know I read all the comments, but on this video specifically, I'm really looking to see what you guys are thinking. Because me personally, bro, I don't know, man. Like cutting carbon fiber like bro you gotta be bold as hell to do something like that so i would more than likely feel comfortable taking the hood and the car out to like a body shop or something and having them do the cutting versus me do the cutting because y'all know me man i like to do everything that i can do by myself in-house and you know 
make sure that it's done with care and then also use it as a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. Now, like I said, I'm leaving it up to y'all. This is up in the air. Um, we still have some more bugs that we want to, you know, kind of fix and tweak out with the tune and stuff as the car sits right now. But the next phase for the car the cat's out of the bag. It's going to be a Holly High Ram, and we are actually going to be getting. So, that being said, y'all got something to look forward to, but I need y'all to comment below and let me know what should I do. Because I can't lie, the 1LE hood, I really love that look. I do. And to see the the holly sticking out of that hood would be hard as hell. I can't lie. But then carbon fiber is carbon fiber, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we did shed a good amount of weight going from the 6th gen OE hood to the carbon hood. So it's like, damn, bro. I don't know, man. I really don't know what to do so y'all let me know in the comment section down below man i know this video was a short one i know this video wasn't like action-packed and stuff like that um but i did throw a code start in there for you guys man you know what i'm saying so give your boy a thumbs up just for that um i am going to be back in the city this weekend and i'm gonna be home for a good amount of time so content is gonna be back up to a thousand percent as long as the weather holds out in Houston, bro. Because if you guys aren't familiar with Houston or you're not in the Houston area, for all of my people like out there in Cali and stuff like that, bro, Houston got hit with a tornado last week, and there's still some people in the city that don't have power right now. So I ain't going to lie. Houston's kind of going through it, bro. So say your prayers for... All of the Houstonians, man, you know, all of the families out there that don't have light and stuff like that, man, you know, big prayers. And then for the ones who lost their lives, unfortunately, man, my condolences to the family members and my prayers to, you know, those that lost their lives for real, for real, man, because natural disasters, man, they, they're things that we can't control. You know what I'm saying? So to lose somebody to something like that, man, it's just like, damn, like, I know I know y'all are really like going through it for sure. But like I said, as long as the weather holds out, bro, content is about to be going crazy. I just told y'all RK sent us a new tune. So obviously we got to flash the tune. We got to get logs in. We got to do draggy time. So all of those videos are definitely coming. I'm going to try to get the car to the drag strip and see if I can make some passes. Sundays are typically less busier than fridays because it's drag pack only day um on sundays and then also it is during the day so a lot of people don't really like going during the day just because the sun's out temps are gonna be high and stuff like that but at the end of the day we need the information so if i can get to the track i'm gonna get to the track but that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, do your boy a favor and hit that subscribe button, bro. Turn on post notifications and drop a comment in the comment section down below because your comments go so far, bro. Giving the video a thumbs up goes so far, bro. Interacting with the videos, not only does it like tell me that you guys are liking what you're watching, it also tells YouTube that you guys are liking what you're watching. And that tells YouTube, you know what? Hey, there's probably some people out there that haven't seen his channel that are gonna enjoy this video as well. Let's go promote it to them. So interact with your boy. I'm gonna interact back with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And YouTube is going to tap in with your boy too so the J.I. squad can grow. So that being said, man, do your boy a huge favor. Get his video a big thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.